Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Geminis. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Gems. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking in plenty of water, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Geminis, as it take care of you, my loves. Come on in, my loves. Have a seat. Get comfortable, all right? Grab your favorite snack. Grab your favorite drink, all right? And let's talk about this thing called love, Geminis, all right? Love, love, love is in the air gems shout out to the evolving spirit shout out to the soul tribe thank you all so much for your unconditional love and support i appreciate you all right if you would love to become a evolving spirit like i myself don't forget to click that join membership button that's down below all right it gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings your email questions and also your love live stream questions when i go live my love sashe and welcome back to the ones that are new here thank you for your love and support i appreciate you as well don't forget to subscribe on your way out and hit that notification bell so that way you're notified for when i do post your readings here on this platform Shay. all right so first gems we're going to start with the oracle deck here for the rebel oracle deck i wanted to switch it up for you all this week all right i know i have been giving some tough love out the last couple of weeks here for the ones that have been here and rocking the boat with me quite a while now all right so i wanted to switch up the energies here to have a little humor all right get a little laughter all right love and laughter is always good for the soul all right and then we'll of course keep the main meat and potatoes all right, we will definitely still use the Love Romance Angel deck here and finish up your reading here with a traditional tarot deck, okay? I just wanted to switch it up for you, all right, and see what messages we get here for you this week and what messages are coming in for the month of May, Geminis, all right? All right, Source Angels and Sisters, protect my space and aura, most of all my heart as I channel the messages here for Geminis. What do we have for the Twinkies? What do we have for the twin source? What do we have for the God and goddesses? Thank you. We have don't let your issues fuck it up, gems, okay? It says some good shit is about to happen. Wow, so this was referencing to you, huh? All right, I got this same card and I posted this card for the daily message here on the uh, community board. All right, so definitely if you're new here, subscribe, check out the community board or the community tab. I do post daily enlightenment, inspiration, and I do give you a daily reading there as well where I pull a couple of cards and I'll take a picture of them and I'll give details to the community tab as well. And this was actually one of the cards that we got in last week here um, in regards to just the daily messages for the week as well. So Gemini's some good shit is about to go down okay some good shit is about to happen all right in your life so don't let your issues fuck it up so whatever issues you may have going on right now gems make sure to get those situations taken care of okay so you don't miss out on the good shit that's about to happen in your life okay literally here okay so congrats there just make sure for me that you have all your ducks in a row is what I'm getting there with this card here. Okay, make sure that you have dotted all your I's and that you have crossed all your T's. Okay, because we are going in your ruler planet for Mercury retrograde here actually in the month of May. So that also gives you time to reflect, revise, all right, revisit some things that you may did not get to complete certain projects and things of that sort. That's what retrograde is all about. It comes around maybe twice or three times out of the year, all right, to give us time to reflect on situations that we may didn't close out cycles as well, all right, and that's definitely having to do with people, situations, and places that needing to be closed out. That's what that opportunity there is for, and it's also there to get plenty of rest as well. So be mindful when you're signing contracts. Look at your emails, review over your emails, text message, things that you send out before you send those messages out. 
revise them. That's what this energy is for, okay? Definitely, that's your ruler planet, Gemini. So don't go sleep on yourself. Go learn about yourself. Use this time to learn more about who you are and how your zodiac sign reflects out on things that are happening around you, okay? Wow, and then we have you are the shit. Yes, Geminis, you are the shit, okay? And you better believe it, okay? And some good shit is about to happen for you. Yes, fucking claim the reading already. All right, definitely comment down below. Speak this out in the universe, Ashe. All right, so let's now finally dive into your love life, Gems, okay? Let's see who's coming towards you in regards to love. Source angels, ancestors, what do we have for Gemini placements when it comes to their love life for sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and south node? And cross watchers, welcome back, my loves. You are welcome here as well. All right, so let's see your source. Ooh, I see reconcile wants to come out. Yep, you're going to have some energies from the past here that wants to reconcile with you. That's what Mercury Retrograde is also about. So you may get messages here from your past lovers, exes, family members, friends, co-workers, people that you haven't seen in years, okay? Some of you all these people are going to be meeting you in your dream space as well, all right? You're going to have a lot of people that's going to be coming back visiting you as you're out grocery shopping, taking a walk. You're going to see people and not have to always be your exes, okay? This could be people that you had good relationships with as well, all right? Wow, you see that card jumped out there. What else, Source? What else do we have for gems when it comes to their love life? What do they need to know here for the month of May? Thank you. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck that we don't see coming here. Ooh, honeymoon. Well, 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 gems, okay? Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Wow. So the next holiday coming up, some of you all are definitely going to be out and about, okay? And this is also my day card, okay? So some of y'all, this person is going to be wanting to ask for you to go out on a date with this particular person. This could be someone new that you're meeting here. For others of you, this could be in regards to just your significant other wanting to take you out on a date to get out, unplug from your daily routine here, okay? It's what I'm picking up there. Wow, gems. Okay, let's see here. What do we have? Yes, love yourself first, gems, okay? Lean in, okay? Okay, we have your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, all right? So the more you love on yourself, the more you appreciate yourself during this time, show gratitude to yourself, pamper yourself. This is how you attract others in, okay? Because you do the healing, you do the work, all right? And by you doing that for the ones that's already doing this and in this phase right now, this is how you attract energies in towards you, right? This is a particular significant other, a lover, friends, all right? Things of that sort, people that want to partnership with you, work with you, collaborate with you. It starts with you. Everything starts with self, okay? You see how this person is all on her or you see how she is all on him, gems, okay? It's because she's choosing to love herself. It's because he's choosing to love himself. And that's just like the law of attraction. And that's what works and comes right back to you, right? Okay, what else comes out here? Separation. Wow, I didn't see that coming, gems, okay? So for others of you that are in a relationship where things have been getting rocky for you, all right, you feel like you haven't been getting anywhere with this particular person, Okay, this person is not allowing you to evolve. You two may be just running back into a brick wall here, literally here. Okay, it's time apart from your partner is on the horizon here. So already I'm picking up two different timelines here, okay? And separation I feel like is needed because it's not healthy right now for you two to may have been having several conflicts, disagreements, arguments, things of that sort. And it just hasn't been the best that you you know imagine for it to be here or for your partner here okay for the ones that are currently in that timeline or processing this situation here and trying to figure out what's best for you and your partner here okay and others of you are literally calling in your soulmate here wow okay we have your prayers your affirmations okay just what i mentioned here at the beginning of your reading here all right, your prayers, your affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yes, like I said, some of y'all are manifesting your partner here. 
okay? Some of y'all, like I said, because you are taking more time out, you're learning about yourself, you're doing the extra study, the research when it comes to you and, you know, your background, your culture, things like that. I feel like the more you just take time out for self, this is how this happens. This is how a partnership and a genuine partnership happen and the person that you can relate to because you're only working on yourself and being a reflection, a mirror out externally to you, all right, and whoever grabs your attention here because of what frequency and vibration you're on, that's because of the work that you put in. So this person will be able to meet you in a mirror or this person will mirror you because of the work that you're reflecting inwards, okay? Wow, that's powerful. Do you see how that works, okay? All right, so because I am picking up two energies here, I'm going to use the Truth Hidden Oracle deck here. I want to see what's going on in regards to this um, situation here with separation for the ones that are currently in a relationship and you may have been separated from your partner or you're in the process of feeling like you need to separate, get some time to yourself, things of that sort. Let's see what this particular energy is feeling towards you. And then I'm going to use another deck to see about this new energy for some of you all that is single here and you're calling in your soulmate, okay? We're going to see how that particular energy feels towards you if you've already met this person and others of you that haven't met this person yet. I want to use another deck, particularly for you in that situation and partnership there and then I'm going to use the hidden deck here the hidden truth deck for this situation for the ones that are currently in a relationship and some of y'all that are in a relationship but you have separated from this person and you're not on speaking terms with this person here let's see what they have to say in regards to the relationship here okay because remember you have good shit happening and coming your way okay so don't forget that as well all right this is just in reference to your love life and what's going on in your love life as well all right some of y'all are doing well when it comes to your career and your finances here as well all right source angels ancestors what do we have for this particular energy here that guardian angels is requesting to separate here wow i have i feel you even though we are apart Wow, so this particular energy here, wow, I just seen two, two, two on the clock. So some of y'all might be seeing the number two or the renumber the two repeating itself, two, two, two. All right, that's very significant there. Go look that number up. That's the lover's energy as well, which represents you, the lovers, the Gemini card. All right, so definitely go and look up the number two when it comes to numerology and see how that resonates for you and see what messages you get there. Two talks about a union as well. Like I said, some of y'all are coming into union when it comes to your partnership here and your soulmate that you're calling in. All right, what else, Source, in regards to this energy here that is need of separation here, Source Angels? This person that you have been separated with, Gemini's, they do feel you even though you two are apart. So I feel like you two are doing a lot of telepathically communication as well here, Source. Yes, so a lot of you all are doing a lot of telepathically communicating. So meaning that you are listening, you could be listening to a song one day and it's like you hear your person speaking through that song or what the song is referencing to it relates to your situation or it could be a song that you and your partner liked or the song that always reminds you of your partner here you could be seeing this person in your dreams you two could be communicating with each other in your dreams okay that's telepathically communicating with each other okay which you are very highly in that realm of communication okay you're the ruler planet of mercury so you are very well advanced when it comes to all levels of communicating, you can communicate in any form, shape, or fashion. All right, gems, that's one of your powers, right? Let's see what else this person has to say. Damn. All right, yes, I'm not making this up. So many things remind me of you. Everywhere this person looks, I feel like everything they think about or what they do, everything that they look at around them, it reminds them literally of you, okay? And they can't shake this feeling. They can't get the thoughts out their mind or their head here, I feel, when it comes to you. Wow. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have, I wish I had treated you better, okay? So this person wished that they had treated you better. So they are aware of some things that they may have done that they feel guilty about when it comes to you in this relationship. They may felt like... They know in their heart that they portray you and they wish that they could have treated you better here. 
all right so wow powerful messages there for your significant other here let's move forward for the energies now here that are meeting their soulmates or this new energy or new person here because you guys have done the work you've healed all right because like i said this is just a timeline here some of you all was already in this timeline and you've already separated from this person it could be months now years now you've moved on others of you you're still in this process here you're trying to figure out what it is you want to do here and others of you like i said this could have been years months now and you have done the healing you've done the work and now you're ready to get back out on the dating scene right you've come in a better healthy place for yourself all right and you're going to be meeting this person that you're calling in here all right so let's see how this energy feels towards you for this timeline here gems source angels and sisters what do we have for this energy that's coming in and wow again if the reading here is resonating gemini's with your spirit and your higher self don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up show spirit some love all right again if you're new here welcome my love subscribe you're part of family again this is where we love and we evolve each and every day here on this platform i shay all right and don't forget to click that notification bell and select all so that way you are notified for when i do post your readings here on this platform every two days and also for when i go live my loves i shay all right so let's see here how does this energy feel source what are their feelings, thoughts, and emotions when it comes to my gems? Oh, wow. We have, I want some more of that ass. Oh, my goodness. So, some of you have already gave the ass up, okay? And others of you, this person is like very, very attractive when it comes to that ass, okay? I'm just saying, 18 years and older, okay? This is a channel for adults, all right? So we're all grown here. Yes, I stalk you. Oh, my goodness. And this person is going to be admitting to you. Like I said, some of y'all, this person is going to be coming in like a secret admirer. Some of y'all don't even is aware of this person here yet. Like I said, some of y'all may have not even met this person yet. But this person could be watching like your social media websites. They could be watching you, you know, as you go in to work. Some of y'all, this person may work with you. All right, <laughs> baby. Okay, but somebody is very attractive to you here and they definitely stalk you. Okay, all right. And, you know, like I said, you attract what you are and, and most of all what you're thinking. Okay, so this person here, you know. They can sense this, I feel, when it comes to you, when they see you, and when they observe you here, okay? Yes, I can't make this up. I want to make love, all right? This person wants to make love with you. They just want to be intimate with you. They want to be around you, all right? And like I said, they stalk you here, okay? So some of y'all are may already aware of this particular energy. And like I said, some of y'all have already met this person, and this is how you met this person because you found out that they were stalking you or they may have already <laughs> confessed this to you gemini's that they've been watching you and others of you okay i'm not surprised that this person that you separated yourself from is not watching you as well and watching your social media websites trying to keep up with you because so many things again have reminded them of you okay well let's get one more card and then we'll definitely pull out the tarot deck here a shuffle here what else source guardian angels and ancestors do we have for gems when it comes to this connection source one more card please yeah this person may be a little shy as well with gems okay all right they're very quiet i feel Ooh, makeup sex baby Okay, so some of you on this person wants to have makeup sex with you. Again, I really feel like your energy from the past year, this person that you separated, is trying to come in so heavy, strong on your energy here. Okay, some of y'all, even though you have moved on, all right, I still feel like the energy that you separated here from in your past here is still yearning for you as well, okay? And I would not be surprised if this person doesn't come back around doing the Mercury retrograde as well. There may be some loose ends that you all need to tie up. Hell, this person may be thinking that they want to tie up loose ends when it comes to makeup sex with you. I'm just saying, okay? So make sure to follow your intuition and use your discernment 
and make sure that you are sure what you wanted to do because you don't want to lead this new energy on for others of you that are single here and you're going to have to have or make a decision here okay all right but you make sure to follow your discernment is this person ask yourself is this person here for your highest good yes they may think about you a lot yes they may want to have makeup sex with you and all that but if the garden angels is here requesting for you to separate from this person it's the reason why so don't forget that part as well okay Wow, powerful message here. Let's finish up here. Now I'm going to pull out the traditional tarot deck here using the everyday, which is tarot deck here. Okay, to see what messages we can get as we close out your reading here today. Source, angels, ancestors. What do we have for Gemini placements here, source? What do we have for Gemini placements when it comes to this connection? What do they need to know, source? What do we have for gems? One card at a time, please. Thank you. All right. Wow. We have the seven of swords here. Like I said, this person is going to be sneaking towards you, okay? Because like I said, they even stalk you. They even may come by your house. All right. Hell, they even might drive by your house at night, Gemini's, okay? Or they're just being sneaky about how they're going to come towards you here. This is a seven of swords. This is your energy, air energy. Some of y'all, this person could have air element in their chart as well. Or they could be Aquarius here, a Libra here, or a Gemini like yourself here, all right? But this also talks about deception as well. All right, doing things behind your back, stealing, taking from behind your back, portraying you, things of that sort when it comes to this particular energy over here as well. All right, wow. And then we have the sun card, Leo energy here. Yes, this is definitely in regards to a brand new beginning here. So a lot of you all are definitely closing out a cycle and you're going into a new beginning here. Okay, wow. And some of you all, I'm getting this person could have placed you in a third party here. Some of y'all may be expecting a baby here. Congratulations if you are. What else? Let's get some clarification. I want to clarify the Seven of Swords here. Why do we have the Seven of Swords here for Gemini placement? Swords, angels, ancestors. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Why do we have the Seven of Swords? Look, let me get some space here. Let me break this down. Why do we have the Seven of Swords for Gemini? And it's funny how they made me put the cards like this. So the Seven of Swords is leaning more towards this side. So this is why you're needing to separate for some of you all due to this particular energy here, okay? Because this person may have lied to you. They may have cheated on you, done some things behind your back. As I mentioned, placed you in a third party here. All right, was not being honest with you is why your guardian angels is requesting for you to separate from this particular energy here. Okay, I'm just noticing how this card is over here, and then over here we have the sun card. This brand new beginning here is over here with this new energy with this person that you're calling in your soulmate for. Clarify the seven of swords. So, again, just take it where it resonates. All right, and if it don't, it's okay. All right, click the notification bell and join us on the next reading in the next two days and see what resonates for you there, okay? Why do we have the Seven of Swords here for gems? Clarify the Seven of Swords with one card, please. Wow, so many cards are so eager to come out here. Your angels definitely are wanting to speak with you, talk to you, get your attention, gems, when that happens, all right? Yes, the star card, that's Aquarius energy. Some of y'all, this person may be Aquarius here. All right, but this is a situation that, yes, you're needed to heal from. All right, this talks about healing as well, and this also talks about manifesting as above, so below. Okay, yeah, we have the Ten of Cups here. Okay, some of y'all, like I said, you could have had a family with this person here. Okay, but this person always seeing you as their Ten of Cups here. 
All right, but this is just a situation that you needed to take time to heal and reflect in regards to this situation and what led up to this point when it comes to this relationship. And I feel like the more that you two may be having conflicts and are together with each other, you're not able to, you know, think in regards to this situation. And is this for your highest good here? Clarify the Ten of Cups and the Star card. Why do we have the Ten of Cups and the Star card here, Source Angels? Clarify the star card source. Why do we have the star card here, source angels? Thank you. Yes, the eight of cups. I'm not making this up. Some of y'all, this person could have been a water sign here. We have Count Syrian, Pisces, and Scorpio. All right, but the eight of cups talks about, this is mainly Scorpio energy here as well, gems. But this card talks about walking away from people, places, and situations that you are no longer emotionally investing in anymore. All right, you see how she has packed her bag and she has left the cups here on the table because this is a relationship here again, a separation. Some of y'all, this could even be your significant other or your spouse here. Some of y'all could be even filing for a divorce. It's time. It's time for you to do this, okay? Some of y'all, this is confirmation for you, okay? There's no accidents or coincidences on how you clicked on this video here. But this is definitely a situation that is needed to end here, okay? So that way you could walk into this brand new cycle, okay? But however, this is a situation I feel like I'm hearing well overdue or this has been well overdue. Some of y'all have just been staying here because of the family, because of the kids. Some of y'all have had kids with this person like I said, some of y'all may are expecting a child with this particular person, okay? But just because you have kids with this person doesn't mean that, you know, oh, you have to stay with this person. If this person is not for your highest good, if they're not giving even take, if they're not allowing you to evolve, if they're not helping to support you when it comes to your soul contract, what you're meant here and your purpose here is here to do, and they're not helping you to evolve, then this is not going to be a healthy relationship, regardless if there are kids involved or not. Your health is your fucking wealth, period, okay? Especially if you're here trying to take care of family and you feel like you're doing this all alone, okay, for the ones that this is based on a family foundation here, okay? All right, wow, powerful messages there. So let's finish up here on this side here. Do you see how everything is being broken down and literally split down the middle here? That's very significant for someone. All right, let's clarify the sun card on this side. It's like I'm getting positive energy over here and low negative energy over here, okay? Clarify the sun card, source, angels, ancestors. Why do we have the sun card here for gems? When it comes to this new energy or this new cycle here with the sun card, why do we have the sun card here, source? Clarify the sun card. Again, if the video is resonating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, my loves. I am available for personal readings. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information is down below in the description box. I shake. Clarify the sun card. Thank you. Wow, that was quick. We have the Seven of Cups here. Yes, okay, yes. This is in regards to new love. All right, wow, look at this. Because you see, do you notice she has all these options here, right? She has all these options here. And look at what she's pointing out here. Look what she's picking out at the shop here. The heart, love. All right, so like I said, there is a brand new beginning of love here. The ones that are single here, you are definitely calling in your soulmate, and this is going to be a brand new beginning for you. Some of y'all have already, like I said, released yourself from this energy from your past. You've already walked away. You've already done the healing. You've done the shadow work. You accepted things for what they are. All right, you've seen the role that you play when it comes to this relationship, and this has been months and years on down the line. And you've moved forward here and you're giving it another shot. You're choosing love here. All right. Wow. Congratulations for that side or that timeline there. And this side as well. We've all been here and been here. Right. So take your time. This is not a race. 
all right take all the time that you need to heal gems okay you'll get here you'll get to this side okay everything goes in divine's order okay yes at the bottom of the deck you're finishing your reading here we have the ten of pentacles here earth sign some of y'all this person may be an earth sign here that's coming towards your way they could be a taurus a capricorn here or a virgo all right but this is the ten of cups okay you go from the ten of cups excuse me to the ten of pentacles a very successful foundation give and even take here you got five pentacles and this person has five pentacles so if anything you two are just adding to the relationship not you know being short or coming up short you're going to be giving even take here when it comes to this new relationship or with this person here you're just going to be able to add to what you already had here because this person is going to be well established here i feel as you are going to be well established here okay wow gems this has completed your love reading again if the reading has resonated with your spirit and your higher self don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell all right again i am available for personal readings all right you can email me all that information is down below in the description box congratulations gemini's you deserve genuine compassion and most of all love all right you're certainly going to get it and others of you continue doing the healing all right continue working through the situation here do what's best for you follow your discernment and most of all your intuition gems i love you you take care i'll talk to you soon bye-bye